I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this is another Higher Things video short. First witness to the resurrection? It's not who you think. St. Mary Magdalene's Day. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app, search Higher Things on iTunes, Google, and uh, Amazon. It'll be on Roku, Roku and, and Apple TV soon. And donate, link in the description, higherthings.org. Give today. Your tax deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. Mary Magdalene. Tomorrow is Mary Magdalene's Day, uh, the 22nd of July, and there's no greater comfort to us sinners than the salvation of Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene, who had demons cast out of her, um, uh, a woman who was known simply as a sinner, that woman, you know what she did. You know how she lived. And he saved her. He rescued her. He brought her out of her sin to a new life telling of him. She is the first witness to the resurrection in John 20. Um, the, she goes to the tomb early in the morning, finds the tomb empty. She goes back to Peter and John and say they have, says, they've taken my Lord's body away and I do not know where they've laid him. Those guys go running to the tomb. John gets there first, doesn't go in. Peter goes in. He would. And they find the tomb exactly as she said, empty. They go back to their homes, assuming that the body has been stolen because they had not yet real, uh, remembered that Jesus must raise from the dead. And she sat weeping at the tomb. You see, it wasn't enough that her Lord died. It wasn't shameful enough that he was crucified, cursed as anyone that, li uh, that hangs on a tree, or that he hung there naked in front of his mother and the world to see, mocked and ridiculed, she wasn't able to do her altar kill duty of taking care of him afterwards. And so she goes early, in the to, or early to find him missing. And this is, the, this is the, the chief shameful thing. He's gone. And so she sits at the tomb weeping, looking into the tomb and weeping and looking in the tomb after everybody had left. And that begins our text. An angel appears to her and says, why, woman, why are you weeping? She said, they have taken my Lord away and I do not know where they've laid him. And having said these things, she turned and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. And it is a present tense that it is Jesus. And Jesus said to her, woman, why are you crying? Whom do you see? Supposing him, thinking that he was the uh, ke puros, which is the gardener, the fruit guy, she said to him, Lord, if you have taken him, tell me where you have laid him uh, so that I might go and, and take him. And he says to her, Miriam, which I mean, he called her by name. Think about this. She doesn't recognize him until he reveals himself to her. She doesn't know that it's him. You could have Jesus talking to you and she, and you wouldn't even know that it was Jesus until he revealed himself. If she who loved him, if she who owed him her very salvation didn't recognize him on Easter morning, are you going to recognize him? in your garage, in the face of a stranger, and the like. She, when, he, when she called his name, though, his sheep hear his voice. She turned to him and said in Aramaic, Rabboni, which is translated teacher. And this is the key here to understanding her. Jesus said to her, Me mu hapu. To, which means stop clinging to me. It's an imperfect, which means the action had already begun. 
I need you to stop clinging to me. She, when he said her name, grabbed hold of him in a non-social distancing hug that would have gone on forever. You see, the one who was taken from her, the one who died, is now alive, and she was never going to let him go. And he has to say, look, I'm not yet sinned to my father, but go and tell my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my father and to your father, to my God and your God. An apostle is a sent one. He sends her to tell the apostles. She, who doesn't even count as a witness, she, who was a sinner, she, who deserved hell, but he saved her. She sent to tell the apostles. Her day changed. Her life changed. He was raised from the dead. Everything has changed. And Miriam Magdalene went And she proclaimed to the apostles that I have seen, perfect tense, the Lord. And that he had said these things to her. This is how God is for you. Life-changing. He changes your world and makes all things new in the forgiveness of your sins. He lives, you live. He's alive, you're alive. He will never die, you won't really die. Proclaim first alive by today's, the person who we celebrate tomorrow, Mary Magdalene, and then by the Skitty Cut Apostles in the future. I'm Pastor Borkart, a blessed Mary Magdalene's day to you tomorrow. And this has been another Higher Things video short.